The north wind brings autumn to the land, and wildflyers arrive on strong wings to refuel before heading south. But they aren't the only ones eager to reach new places before winter sets in. Spiders warming on October days are always ready for a fast free ride into new hunting grounds. And lacking wings, they use their own specialty to catch the wind. Silk. It's called ballooning and it's an ingenious way to fly distances that range from a few yards to many miles. It's normally thought of as a way for new hatchling spiders to disperse from their egg sacs. They build a nursery web, venture to twig and leaf points, and then throw out silk that is caught by the breeze. This carries them aloft to new homes. But in stronger winds, ballooning also works for bigger and heavier spiders. These climb to open spaces with full access to moving air. And they wait for gusts that can take them airborne. Standing straight up with abdomens held high, they fire jets of silk from their spinnerets. and when the tug of wind is sufficient, they let go to sail away. While waiting, they may fight and jostle for the best positions. and many sizes and kinds of spiders may be present. But patience pays off and soon all will get the ride they're looking for. If a breeze fails on takeoff, they simply climb back up to try again. It's seldom seen and few people are aware of flying spiders. But it's extremely common, especially in fall, and evidence is found in vast amounts of silvery thread that wave in the wind. The spiders simply ride their silken strands until they land, and then they set up camp in their new surroundings. Ballooning, what a way for free airfare. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.